Crips, episode number one with Mr. Ivan O'Gorman. All right. That's bullshit. We gotta start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, I'm on my way to visit Ivan O'Gorman. Turn left onto 63rd Street. Ivan is one of the best, if not the best, bike fitter, like in the world right now. Uh, super competitive triathlete and. Uh, Actually, he's a really, really nice person. I, I like him a lot. He fitted my bike, my, my, my time trial bike, Rocky. I'm gonna see him. Uh, I'm driving to meet him. He lives here uh, in Niwot. This is like a 10 minute drive from where I live. Not bad. And we're gonna do a Dig Deep Conversation episode. So, looking forward to it. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, Ivan. I'm good, you? How's life with you? It's good. Let me give you a happy new year hug, buddy. Wow, this is amazing. Like I you know, I've seen your uh your Instagram post, but when do you open it? You know, I open this in July. Oh wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty new, you know? This cup of coffee is going to be awesome. Can't wait. Yeah, um, I'm getting a bit of uh, what they call channeling. Peru. Yeah. How's Peru for the coffee? Lima which is where basically everybody lives, you yeah. know? Everybody drinks instant coffee. Oh, amazing, Nescafe or something. Yeah, yeah, right? Or and uh, just it's like spoon into yeah, coffee. Yeah, exactly. Kettle. Which, so we grew up with that, but, um, and we didn't know better, really. But in the end, in Same the in Andes. Ireland, in England. Really? Oh, huge. Yeah, in, in the Andes, in the countryside, so they drink brew coffee, actually. Yeah. Yeah. We're in Niwa, Colorado, one of the finest little gems just outside Boulder. IIG Bike Fit Studio, and come on in. So here we have it. This only took me maybe a decade to get together. Uh, I know, I've been lucky, I've had a great career where I've worked with great companies and, and athletes, and I suppose now that I'm working for myself, and I'm here in my hometown, my new adapted hometown where my kids are in school and, and so forth. Uh, it allows me to have this space that we can, we can call home. So it's part clubhouse, uh, part business, part party. So uh, yeah, we like athletes to have a good experience when they come here. So it's a lovely little building. Starting here with uh, some of the stuff we have in the walls. That's a, a custom mosaic bike. It's out of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, it's got all the latest and greatest with regard to Shimano equipment. Um, this bike will actually go to the National Handbuilt Award um, show, uh, which is known as NABS. And uh, I'd be very surprised if this bike doesn't um, snag a award or two. This is a titanium bike that's uh, TIG welded. Here there's about three mils of paint, so that actually layers on quite a lot of weight. Each of these splatters are done individually, color by color. So color, splat, splattered with a paintbrush, lacquered, sanded, buffed, and done again. So just an amazing amount of hours gone into that bike. So Aaron and his crew at Mosaic, and they have a, a company called Spectrum, it's their paint shop, uh, are just doing incredible stuff with bikes. So you got uh, a jersey there from the Vuelta team in 2015. Arica, I've worked with some of those great riders through my days and times with Retool. Uh, on the left you got Tim Don, current world champion um, or world record holder, 740.23. He's got his arm pads over there off the front of his bike as well. Uh, Tim's just recovering from a, a bad crash where he fractured his C2 and actually tomorrow he's coming out of the, the halo. So he's been going around for 12 weeks like that. So uh, best wishes for Tim. Uh, we make footbeds, we got a little mechanic station. Got a lot of great jerseys. You got Rachel Joyce, Paula Findlay, Jeannie Seymour. A really nice coffee machine. From it Rocket. is. Uh, it's out of uh, uh, Milan in Italy. Andrew and his team at Rocket Espresso. Um, here we got, you know, 
Kaiser Sally, who came fifth in Kona, won this award and just gave it to me. She just wanted me to have it. That was kind of nice. Uh, that was an award from a local race here. Toddler Butterfields 2012 uh, number from, from London. Um, got some hats from Boko. They do some great hats. You got Ben Hoffman in the tunnel. You got some pottery made by an athlete that I work with, Sawyer Curry. And then we got my little cruiser bike from all over and back. Got some paint schemes here, different paints and stuff like that. That's my name too. Don't know. That's a good book out of uh, Irish writer, nice. uh, writer Paul King. Yeah, it's a good book about the All Blacks. That's a motivator for sure. The All Blacks are the famous uh, New Zealand rugby team. Got it. Best in business. Here we just got some more jerseys and then again from some other teams. Gotta bring your attention to the artwork that's done by Willow Rockwell. Uh, Willow was a former uh, world class mountain biker, professional world uh, mountain biker. Uh, married a form former world champion, Miles Rockwell. Uh, lovely couple. So she did both of these paintings, and my wife bought it for me as a surprise. So that's kind of nice. Lots of retool equipment here. Good tax trainer. Um, we use the likes of this to display, this television to display. Uh, you know, when we're working with athletes, they can visualize what we're doing. You get the idea, it's a big deal. This equipment, uh, Ken Moore jerseys, you got Flora Duffy, Ellie Salt House. A sample of the jerseys that we have, and this is the Bike Fit Studio. Not your, not your every day kind of stuck in the back of a bike shop situation. It's not, it's uh, really you know, nice. It. Yeah, awesome. Come see us anytime. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. You're the best. Okay, 412. About to head out for a run, was supposed to do a bike ride. Well, I'm not really following a specific training plan, but I wanted to do a bike ride. And, uh, but, waited until the very end. I uh, still need to get my workout done, so, run's gonna be. Sun's coming down. Luckily, I brought my lamp. I'm just taking a little break. Probably, I'm riding around the neighborhood again. It's a different route. I've been trying to go faster than yesterday. Staining a good pace, but not for long periods of time. And uh, I don't know. I think I was kind of overdoing it a little. Made me feel a little nauseous. So, Beautiful night. Probably run another 25 minutes. I know. Okay, I just finished my run. Total of five miles. Yeah, I didn't feel great today, but it's okay. Glad that I did it. So, go back home, take a shower, dinner, keep working. <laughs> 